Tommy Retro here with a special video today. You're looking at a 1983 Wayne Chevy B60 lifeguard. It's got a 350 Chevy engine with a four speed manual transmission and a split rear end. I picked this bus up from Calvary Baptist Church in Enid, Oklahoma. It is a 48 passenger bus. Um, I put found the deal on Facebook Marketplace. I made a deal right with the church, sent them a check, put together a trip to go out there. I um, I planned the trip. We uh, we took the Metra to Chicago, took Greyhound out of Chicago to Perry, Oklahoma, uh, and then a local a local bus to the location in Enid. But uh, uh, 26 hours of travel, four bus transfers. It was quite the trip. I learned a lot, and uh, really, uh, really learned uh, the um, how easy it is to uh, use a rental car and take a one-way trip. Uh, it's a you know a little pricey for the drop fee, but definitely worth it. And uh, you'll be seeing another pickup video on a 1985 Chevy Bluebird soon and that is the method that we use there and it worked perfect so definitely learned a lot on this one but uh, but had a blast I wouldn't uh, wouldn't change it for the world uh, and uh, had a blast and I look I look forward to further uh, pickup videos and um, you know future videos uh, and future uh, adventures so I'm going to go ahead and play the video right now. The uh, video is going to be on location at the hotel in Enid, Oklahoma, working on the bus, getting it ready. Uh, and it was at the point where I was at a point of no return and had to get back to go to work on Monday. So uh, at the time, I didn't have any transport set up, and I had to uh, basically set it up with somebody to sell the bus locally for me down there and uh, that's that's where I was but when I got back I was able to secure reasonable transportation uh, there were some low boy trucks going down to Texas and was able to uh, to get a, a reasonable deal on the load coming back to northern Illinois so uh, I was able to put that together and then we were able to uh, get the get this bus transported via low boy back here uh, to my house and join the collection. So I'm going to play the video right now. This is going to be on location in Enid, Oklahoma. Enjoy. Tommy Retro here on location in Enid, Oklahoma. And what this is, is this is uh, a pickup video. This is a 1983 Chevy B60 school bus with a Wayne lifeguard bus body. I purchased it from Calvary Baptist and unfortunately instead of a pickup video this is turning into a rescue video. So what I mean by that is I bought this from a church. I made a deal on Facebook Marketplace and paid them and the bottom line is I did not give myself enough time to do the maintenance on this bus and get it back home yeah, and uh, what it is is uh, I wanted to take this bus home over three days I've spent two days uh, working on it to get it to running condition and uh, I just don't have enough time to get it back. So what I'm gonna do is I've got it fixed up. It's, uh, I had to put uh, fuel filters on it, drain all the old gas out first, put fuel filters on it, accelerator pump, fuel pump. And so I finally got it idling and running and driving. Uh, the carburetor probably needs to be rebuilt. Uh, but, uh, but she runs and drives and just needs a little extra help. But I wanted to just do a little walk around and document it. So instead of a pickup video, we've rescued this bus from probably the scrap 
and uh, it'll it'll be for sale down here in Enid, Oklahoma. So she's a Wayne with the jackknife door. There's the uh, classic Wayne wing back seat. Give her a little throttle here. As you can see, she's running. But uh, there's the Wayne lifeguard switch panel. Chevy chassis dash. Got uh, vacuum gauge and the body ammeter. It's got a four speed with a high low rear end. Old school Wayne jackknife door. Needs to be lubed, but you can see she's got a jackknife. Oh, there we go. She's got a jackknife door, Wayne style. That big uh, cast aluminum door control. Like I say, this needs grease really bad. So the bottom line is, when I went to buy this bus, um, I needed to do a little more homework. Um, the story was that the bus had been not used for two years. That's make that more like five. There's the Wayne data plate there. And so basically everything rubber on this bus is just destroyed. The seats are in remarkably good condition though. So you can see here, I don't know why they alternated purple seats. There must have been a purpose for that. I asked the church and they weren't sure. So it's your standard Wayne lifeguard, extremely utilitarian design. Rear seats are removed. There's the back window that was busted out of it. You can see there's a little patch panel. But I thought this would be a cool shorty. 48 passenger, I believe. If I do my math right, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8, 16 times 3 is exactly that. 16 times 3. 32 plus another 16, 48. All right, so there's a 48 passenger if the two rear seats were in. So we'll do a little walk around here again. Tires are pretty decent, they're bias ply. If I didn't have all of the running issues, I wouldn't be too worried about the tires, especially if I took this home at, you know, highway speeds of about 60, taking two lane blacktops. Uh, rust through really isn't an issue down here. It's actually, uh, rust wise is extreme, extremely good, just surface rust, but the heat just bakes the rubber. Anything rubber just deteriorates. So everything that's, that I've found the window seals and stuff uh, really really hard on it and that and I've realized too down here in uh, Oklahoma there's just just with the nature of the land it must be you know and really dry everything is covered with dust like this clay dust it's like a reddish brownish uh, dust it just cakes on everything you can see you saw it on the seats inside you can see it just caked on the outside on the aluminum the underside of the bus too it must get wet and it just is cake to everything underneath. I don't know if you can see it there a little bit, but you can see that's an example. The C channel on the other side of the frame is absolutely loaded with uh, with clay. So again, this is a rescue video. I'm gonna go ahead and actually let's go around front one more time. It's got the single crossover mirror there. But uh, 
So this is a rescue video. We're rescuing this bus from the scrap man. This will be for sale locally down here in Enid, Oklahoma. If you're interested in this bus, uh, please contact me. And uh, if you're local down here, it would be a great bus for a collector. If it was closer to me, I would be definitely taking it home. And like I say, it's perfect, perfect size to collect. So I hope it goes to a uh, enthusiast who will appreciate it. But at least uh, we're able to document the bus, save it from the scrap, and give it some life in the future. So let's go ahead and we'll, we'll turn it off. And just show you the engine. Finish this walk through. Apologize for the wind noise. It's extremely windy out here. It's uh, beautiful. It's got to be, let's see, it's sunny. It's got to be about 60 degrees, maybe 65. Oh. The hinges are dry on this hood. So, again, did all that with the fuel system. You could see there's my new fuel filter right there. Um, new fuel pump underneath it, mounted on the engine. Accelerator pump gasket right down there and that Holly carburetor. But she's got a 350 V8 gas engine in it. I had to put a new battery in. But uh, if we take a look down here, you can see it's got a recent Y pipe. There's that fuel pump I put on there. And then there's another fuel filter. If you look at the, uh, the fuel tank right at the front of the fuel tank on the inside of the C channel, on the frame, uh, you'll see there's another fuel filter over there that needs to be replaced. It's absolutely plugged. And I'll show you what the fuel looked like that came out of it. So, you want to talk about some varnish. This is varnish. So, take a look at that. Look at that shade of orange. Yuck. So, so definitely, definitely uh, the issue there. But we got it running pretty good. And uh, it'll be for sale down here in Enid, Oklahoma. So again, I'm calling this a rescue of a 1983 Chevy B60 Wayne Lifeguard School Bus. And may she live on in another life for someone else. Again, if you're interested in this bus, please contact me. You're uh, local to Enid, Oklahoma. It'd be great for you. It'd be a great bus to have for a collector. I'd love to see it preserved. As always, this is Tommy Retro, and thank you for watching. All right, I hope you enjoyed that clip. So, quite the adventure again wouldn't change it for the world I had a blast let's go ahead and check out the interior real fast I'll do an in-depth walkthrough and a startup on this bus but just want to finish out the pickup video uh, you can see 48 passenger the two rear seats have been removed the rear glass is knocked out of the back the rubber is absolutely destroyed. But other than that, bus is in pretty good shape. So, a cool discovery that we made. These, uh, this purple is just vinyl spray paint. But the coolest thing is take a look under the seat covers. We have the Wayne Rainbow seat package. So you've got uh, all the different colors, so uh, I'll put a clip if I can find it of the ad, 
while we're looking at this, the Wayne Rainbow Seed Package that you could order in the 70s and 80s, but you can see that there. So this bus is full of multicolored seats under these seat covers. So definitely the plan is to restore this to its original look with the Rainbow Seat Package. Take a quick look at the driver's quarters. I love Wayne and how utilitarian it looks. Got the Wayne wing back seat. But uh, but yeah, there she is. Totally excited about this. Uh, there'll be a lot more videos coming on this bus. But uh, but was really excited to pick this up and then actually secure the transportation to get it home. But uh, that'll be it for this video. As always, this is Tommy Retro. I thank you for watching and have a good rest of your day or night.